Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the newest installment of The Hell You Say with the Gargoyle. That's me, the as you all you know. Ah, oh, <laughs> and there we see my good friend, my brother, Anthony Bridges for the band Mucklebone, everybody. All right, we got Mucklebone. <laughs> How are you, my good man? How are you? Uh, I'm good. Good. That's I'm what good. I like to hear. Uh, it, was yeah. a, it was a long day, but it was a good day. There we go. Well, hopefully, you know, we end a long day with a good night here, you know, and yeah. it'll all be good. Welcome, welcome to my crypt. <laughs> there you go. I like it. I like it. Much yeah. cooler. Much cooler than my house. But uh, yeah, but then again, There's, you're much cooler you can, than I am. You can know <laughs> all, my, all my nerd stuff. I don't know if you can see on the wall. There's a bunch of vintage Star Wars and nice. nice. Up here, there's a bunch of Godzilla stuff. <gasps> yes, and, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah that sounds Giant very familiar. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so from one nerd to another, as I look at my yeah. Marvel action figures and my Godzilla stuff over here, yeah. it's like yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I, think so. That's, I think that's why we hit it off as well as we did. Absolutely. Um, yeah. It was just like I was like, I like this guy, and then you were like Godzilla, and I was like, What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Oh shit. <laughs> and I wasn't coaxed to say that. I said that on my own, so no one thinks yeah, this is just, a setup just, here. This yeah. is not. There is no script. No, and, no. And even if there was, I can't read. So it's. Okay. <laughs> you too. I can only write. I can there only you go. write. <laughs> right you know as as people know with this show there, there is no scripting there's no editing there's there's no cutting out of anything we just it right. what comes out comes out and that's just my favorite right. way of doing things because it's the more raw natural way it's it's the human way of doing things so right uh, well, i you know. i like what you do because it's like it your your interviews seem more like just just hang out you know mm -hmm. like hang out and chill and talk yeah. and yeah, and, and, and I don't yeah. know why we don't have beers right now. I feel like I, yeah. <laughs> what a great idea! Like a bottle, a bottle yeah. of red wine. Oh, there know. we go. There I we like go. That. Yeah, I, I actually, actually that sounds like a great idea. May, uh, next know, time right? we'll prepare better I next time. How's that? <laughs> but yeah, you and I hit it off uh, immediately, and it was like I even yeah. said, you know. Um, I'm telling everybody here, you know, the first time that Anthony and I spoke, and and. Uh, uh, there was just like an instant chemistry there and we just hit it off and it was like i i, I even asked anthony i said were we brothers in a past life or something because right, right. way too many things in, in there uh in common so uh more than likely i hope you will all and i know you all will enjoy this interview because it's probably going to end up being a two-part or a second part on down the road the road here so but tonight tonight <laughs> It's all about Anthony. Yeah, it's the way it should be because yeah. I'm nobody and Anthony is the man. So am, that's how we're going to do this. I am also nobody. I'm oh, stop that, nobody. you. I'm just nobody with a nice wardrobe. I, <laughs> that's all it is. Oh. Nobody with a nice wardrobe. As you can see, yeah, we're, we're, we're very shy around each other. We, we don't have any laughter around each other at all. So, yeah. Terribly. But uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, my brother. I, I, I have every, to ask every you. part of me is puckered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah every once in a while i stick to the chair i've got i've got to pull myself <laughs> off you know so <laughs> oh. but uh yeah but uh you know as we do every show here no I, i've got to ask right off the bat um the, the usual question i always ask what what made you get into music uh i was thinking about this because you had you had said you were going to ask something like that mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and i was really trying to suss out why or, or how i got into it i think honestly like way back when i was little little um mm -hmm. my my dad was a guitar player and a singer mm. and used to you know sing all, a, a lot of um a lot of dylan and stuff like that mm -hmm. and i think he he sort of saw himself I, i'm talking about him like he's dead he's not okay but, good that's good um, to know okay but he, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> But he kind of saw himself as sort of a, a Dylan and and hmm. and kind of sang and and also wrote some of this the that kind of style mm -hmm. I guess okay mm -hmm. and so I I uh, my my first few years um, I was around a lot of that and just him singing and then through the years you know we've gotten together and played before I play really minimal guitar like I am mm. a shitty guitar player. But, <laughs> 
but uh and i'm really i'm not much of a singer either let's be honest i'll stop that you um but i like uh i just i've always liked the i don't know the feeling of it the creating and everything and Mm -hmm. i tend to be kind of a creative person like i i write and and create and and do stuff like that and i think it was just sort of a natural progression i Mm -hmm. guess okay to, to doing to doing vocals mm-hmm. and then uh when i joined my first band they all were like you know you're the loudest of us so you should probably be like the lead and i'm like what <laughs> they're like you're, you're always you're always showing off go up there and, and be pretty or something i'm like <laughs> <laughs> you know um, now, see i had the exact opposite when i was in a band they looked at me and they were like all right we're gonna put you way in the back okay just just stay back in the corner and, <laughs> and you'll be fine so uh so um yeah. you know we, so we got this uh, would you uh, i i i assume you I, you wouldn't say that bob dylan was an influence on you but not not necessarily you know, on no. me um, uh-huh. but, but how about you you know what are the, your influences in the, in the punk uh, mm-hmm. more of the punk era Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was I was big into you know like Henry Rollins, mm. and, uh, Black Flag, um, mm-hmm. the Sex Pistols, nice. stuff like that. And then weirdly, I shifted into liking more stuff like The Cure and 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 bands like that. I got mm-hmm. into that whole scene, cool. mm-hmm. and of course the Ramones and and stuff like that. My my music tastes are all over the place, though, Robert. It's like. It's like I like pretty much everything. I'm not a big fan of like gangster rap, and I'm not a big fan of um, modern country. But like right. everything else, mm-hmm. um, honestly, if I was gonna, if I was gonna get right down to it, I think probably my my favorite music is stuff like. <laughs> I don't believe I'm saying this. Oh, go for like it. This, <laughs> uh, uh, probably like Sinatra and oh wow, okay, and Dean Martin. Um, was a huge fan of Amy Winehouse. Okay. Um, Good. But I also, but I, it's weird because I also like, I really like, you know, like black metal and death metal and mm-hmm. and anything hard like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think Mucklebone sort of is like this weird fusion in my head of like, like kind of a death metal feel, but it then... Mm-hmm. It's like slow and dirgy. I tell everybody it's like it's like death metal you'd listen to at a friend's funeral. Oh, there you go. Nice. And, <laughs> and it's like dirge metal or something. I don't even right. know. I don't even know exactly what it is. I just right. write. I just write fucked up shit. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. It's a, you know it's a it's a you know it fits beautifully in the world that we live in right now. So. Uh, you know, but you know, I'm the, I'm the same way. Like you know, people know I'm into metal and things like that. But then they know I'm I also like like Depeche Mode and Gary Newman. Oh, and, yeah. You know things oh, yeah. like oh, that. Dude. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love oh, Gary yeah. Newman. As there, yeah, people who know great. me, no. Yeah. I like. Yeah. yeah I, I love Gary Newman, and and all people get sick of me t- talking about him. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, but uh, but yeah, he was. Uh, I've been a fan of his for a long, long time. But uh, have you? Uh, you know. who, who's the who's the the most like the most times you've seen an artist? Like what oh, artist would that? You, be? You're going to be so disappointed. I I'm not. I promise. You. I'm going to tell you mine afterwards. Okay. You're going to be like, really? I'll I'll be brave. I'll say, believe it or not, for me, it's believe it or not, Kiss. Oh, dude, nice. Yeah. <laughs> like, Kiss Live? Oh, yeah, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I've seen Kiss, uh, I, th- I think last count was 42 times that I've seen Kiss. Yeah. You yeah. just you just broke my brain. That's, <laughs> awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, fess up. Uh, Who's minus, yours? Minus, minus Guar. Yay. Uh, I've, seen, I've seen Guar, I don't know, 10 or 11 times. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and... A funny side story. Um, my 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 uh, my lady mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. is. Uh, I I literally met her um, four years before I met her and didn't know that I had met her. Oh wow! Um, okay. I met her at a Guar show. Uh, it was in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Mm-hmm. I don't remember exactly the year. Okay. Um, because um, we're ancient. <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm lucky I know what year I'm in now. But, um, but 
but no, she was uh, she was on stage uh, dressed up in a cute little like Japanese schoolgirl outfit, being oh. eaten by the world maggot. All right, fantastic. And I was like, and I and I turned to my oddly enough wife at the time uh -huh. and said, "That chick on stage is hot. We should take her home." <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, "Yeah," and then and then. We didn't because we couldn't find her after oh. the show, and it was weird and whatever. And then, right. and then years later, um, I met Leslie, and when we got together, and then years after that, mm -hmm. I was had we went to a guar show together. Okay. And she, mm -hmm. oh my God, I remember the first guar show I ever went to. It was in Grand Rapids at the Orbit Room, and I got eaten by the world maggot. And I'm like, <laughs> shut the fuck up! <laughs> like, what? <laughs> It's and, such a small world, and, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> for real, for real. Michigan more so. Michigan more so. Michigan is like I—I I know everybody in the state at this point. I there think. you go. <laughs> so, yeah. Even if you it's, don't it's want a to, right? I, I'm either related to them or I slept with them. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> I love it. So, uh, that's terrific. And and good job with Guar. That, that's a great pick because I've I've seen Guar th thirteen times. Oh uh, God, it's I always lucky, lucky, lucky number thirteen. I miss Dave Brocky yeah. so much. I, I, ha I admit I have not gone to see Guar since Dave passed away. I haven't, and, uh, I haven't either. And, yeah. and and don't get me wrong, I think I think Blothar does a good job. I do too, very much so. But it's just this completely different feel to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and I mean, how Guar? I think I first saw them when I was like twenty one. So, okay. Like mm -hmm. a long ass time ago. Right. And and to to change from that, I I don't know. Yeah. And I mean, anyone who knows Guar knows like their lineup has changed a billion times. Oh Nobody yeah. Hell, because they were you know there's like what three different beefcakes. There was right. Casey Orr and um, I forget the other ones. And there was I think at least two different Balsack, the Jaws right. of Death, and whatever. Well, but, well yeah, because you know uh, Blothar. And, yeah. Man. Yeah, Blothar was one of uh, was one of the original uh, beefcakes, Michael yeah, Bishop. Yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah. So. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I know my gore stuff, yeah. but yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's nothing. Ag I'm like you. It's nothing against the guys at all. Uh -uh. I just, I just, the fact that I'm not going to see Odorous up there yeah. singing. Yeah. I, I just, I can't yeah. get over that hump. I guess is is the best way of putting it, but. You yeah. know, but, no, I, but, you I, know. I love that they're still that they're still jamming and still together because mm -hmm, they're mm -hmm. old guys like us, and, right. and they're still out there rocking. And I think that's awesome. I, I do too. Yeah. Um, Heck, I can barely get out of bed every morning, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just pour coffee on it until it wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. If it wasn't for coffee, I would just be a corpse. There you go. <laughs> The corpse, the, the coffee drinking corpse. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. All right, I got to ask you. Uh, I'm sure this question you've been hit with a lot, but I, I've got to ask it for everybody out there and all. Why Mucklebone? Uh, <laughs> um, so, okay, weird story. Not mm -hmm. really weird. I mean, it's anyone who's ever been in a band, this is a typical story. So, everyone who's been in a band is going to be like, yeah, and. And. <laughs> um, but, um, when I when I first joined the band, uh, which is also another story, which I should probably lead with. So, okay. <laughs> uh, so I had been in a band with our drummer Josh mm -hmm. uh, years ago called Blackheart, which was like this weird piratey folk Irish punk thing. Okay, like this interesting. Weird fusion thing. Uh huh. And and um, and then that band broke apart for whatever reason as bands do and mm -hmm. i hadn't seen josh in years and him and steve and our former guitarist were together uh and they were looking for a singer and um they couldn't really think of anyone and then steve's mother of all people um our bass player steve's mother says to him you know i I know this nice boy <laughs> and, and he works at this store that I go into all the time and he's always just walking around and singing and he's so upbeat and he's such a sweetheart and and you should give him a call and and so he took it to the band like as a joke and he's right. like 
Yeah, my mom wants me to to get some dude that works at the store and and he's just a nice boy and all this and, <laughs> and whatever. And he said the store that I worked at and and Josh goes, wait, did she say his name was Tony? He's <laughs> right. like, yeah. And he's like, hold on a minute. And he, he dials up and he's like, T, do you still sing? And I'm like, I don't know. Did I ever? And he's like, do you want to sing again? And I'm like, okay. And so that's how that happened. But then when, when, uh, when I started playing with them, uh, they were going under a different name, um, hmm. which was a terrible name. No offense, oh. guys. I love you. You know I do, but it was a terrible <laughs> name. And so we decided we were going to come up with a, a new name, or maybe I decided it. I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. I kind of, I may have bulldozed them a little. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> and and so I made like this list of like a hundred just bizarre band names and whatever. Right. And and we went through it and nah, 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 this is nah, whatever that and blah and that's too filthy and whatever. <laughs> and they came to uh, the last one and it was Mucklebone mm -hmm. and um, they were all kind of like that's such a weird word and I'm like I know doesn't it is this doesn't it feel good to say right and right like yeah it it, it kind of like it feels right on the tongue and they're like what is it and I'm like um. I mean, really, it's it's nothing. Mm -hmm. It's just a sound. And and Steve looks at me and he's like, "Are you a fan of the movie Legend?" Legend, I'm, yes. I am. <laughs> I am. I totally am. And he goes, "You know that the the swamp witch in there is Meg yes. Mucklebones." And right. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I know." I was like, "That's kind of where I I got the name." And he's like, uh -huh. "Well, why don't we be called? Why don't we be Mucklebones?" And I'm like, "No, no, no. Drop the S. Just uh -huh. Mucklebone." Uh -huh. And the, never the you never are the uh, whatever's right right and and whatever and so that's kind of how we fell on it and then oh. later mm -hmm. we found out that muckle apparently is a slang term for big oh so i didn't know that then, really so then the joke i i don't know if that's true that's just <laughs> that's just what i heard and i right. kind of like the idea so it's like big bone right whatever. right um, <laughs> so i don't know too. <laughs> no. I love it. I think it's funny. I, I do. I like that. Uh, and, and while we're talking about the band, uh, you want to tell us the, the other members of the band uh, real quick? Uh, yeah. The, yeah, please. Um, our our <clears throat> bass player is Steve Deegan. He is mm -hmm. an amazing bassist. Um, he also uh, writes some of the songs. Um, mm -hmm. And he's been doing it forever. He's, he's, he's a musician at heart. Like he, I don't know, he gives it his all. Good. Uh, Josh Rooks is our drummer, mm -hmm. and again, um, I've been in, in a band before with Josh years ago, and he was awesome then, and he's more awesome now. Um, cool. And then uh, our guitarist is Jacob Stout, mm -hmm. and uh, Jacob, I, I think this, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Jacob, when you watch this, <laughs> uh, I think this is his first band. I think Mucklebone is his first band. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Um, That's a good start. He's a, he's a he's a really good guitarist. He does some really good stuff. He's a, he's also very, um, very into just like really exploring the sound and what he wants oh. to do. He's very conscientious about it, and I think that's important. Absolutely, yeah, and, and yep. whatnot. And and more importantly than any of it, we all just really kind of gel. So it ends right. up being a really nice. Kind of brotherhood, I guess. That's good. Yeah, that's good. So, that's what you need in a band. You know, that's the glue yeah. that holds the band together. Uh, you know, yeah. so. so we get so we get together and have practices and cookouts. Oh, perfect! <laughs> nice. I like so, that. Yeah. I like that. Very Here, cool. Eat this steak and then try to growl. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, singing on a full stomach is always a great idea. Oh you know, my so. god! <laughs> no. No. Uh, 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 I, I have to ask uh, this question as well, too. Um, I'm, I'm curious to hear your answer on this one. What genre, shall we say, would you put Mucklebone in? Like I said, I, I, it's almost like a, like a made-up subgenre. I, I always think of us as dirge metal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, I mean, 
it's not death metal it's not black metal but it's got feelings of it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's not straight metal but it's got feelings of it okay um, yeah yeah I that mean, makes, makes sense it's it's a weird combination but in my opinion it's good that's good but it's ours so mm -hmm. i mean and yeah. i don't know and it's fun to write for because it's it's different than anything i've ever done right so it's a it's a different sound a different structure and mm -hmm. i don't know it makes it it makes it exciting to write for good and good. i probably write way too many songs nah so. you can never have too many yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Can. <laughs> when, when when you're so we're we're working on our on our first album also right. called Dirge. Oh, and, okay. And um and uh so I've been holding back like all these songs and I've got like I don't know 15 or 20 wow. songs that I am itching to get to like I really want to get to them. Right. And I'm holding off cuz I want to get you know this album done so mm -hmm. that we can move on and do other stuff but mm -hmm. it's it's killing me <laughs> <laughs> understandable i just, just want to be done with it and oh. it so people can either be like oh that's cool or oh god why are you bothering you know what right because <laughs> um, any attention is good attention that's so. right I've, I've never heard of bad attention before you know right. so right exactly yeah uh talk talk about the album and all uh how far along are we on the on the album um all the songs are written mm -hmm. and we've played them a lot but we just switched up guitarist mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. jacob is new so he is learning a bunch of stuff and mm -hmm. also kind of we we sort of decided when he came in that um instead of trying to copy uh anything our previous guitarist had done mm -hmm. that we wanted him to kind of do his own thing okay kind mm -hmm. of feel out his place in Mucklebone. Okay. So so stuff is changing up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um and so there's that. But I mean it's it's written. It needs to be recorded. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um if anyone is interested, uh they can check out our YouTube. It's Mucklebone the band. Um yes. yep. and there's we I just I recorded a bunch of just practice demo stuff on my phone mm -hmm. which oddly sounds better than trying to record it through my high-tech equipment there you go, go. <laughs> and, um, and uh and so we put up a bunch of those and uh so you can see those but yeah you know they'll they'll probably change a little bit before right the end. yeah you guys but do we're, yeah. we're really hoping to get it out before the end of summer so oh that soon oh okay yeah. okay oh that's cool yeah you guys have a ton of stuff out there on youtube i think the last time i looked you had like 27 videos um yeah. there's one video uh i have <laughs> I to bring, gonna bring this <laughs> <laughs> here come the devil oh. horns oh, oh, little devil horns uh, yeah. there's All a right, video yeah. there's, there's a, a video of you there's a video passing out yeah. shall we say <laughs> <laughs> you know I wasn't gonna let you slide. Oh, shit. Come on. No, I know. Yeah. Uh, what what happened, my friend? That, so, that to make you okay, do such so, a thing. <laughs> so, um, we were doing a cover. I I don't generally do covers. I really don't like doing covers. But mm -hmm. we were doing a cover. Um, oddly, of uh, I don't know if you remember the 1976 A Star Is Born. Oh my! With Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand mm -hmm. and Chris Christopherson. Yes. And mm -hmm. Christopherson does a song in there. It's called Hellacious Acres. Okay. And ever since I was little, I've wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. But like a like a more, uh, like a heavier version of it or whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we rewrote it a little bit and did the Mucklebone version of it. And we were doing that for like live stuff. Um, and... It's in the song. I switch back and forth between a bunch of different vocal styles really, really quickly. Mm -hmm. Where I'm going from like clean vocals to growl to almost burp vocals to to like shriek and scream and whatever. And it's a it's a weird breathing exercise. <laughs> and <laughs> right. I kind of I kind of hyperventilated in the middle of it and didn't even realize I did it. And we started into the down sweep into this clean vocal. Uh, and right. I went from taking these 
big deep breaths and all of a sudden closed off all my my air and just fell just... out <laughs> <laughs> and and woke up to my entire band looking down at me like yo t you okay <laughs> <laughs> the fuck happened <laughs> So, yeah. Yeah, so you know everybody's gonna so head toward that video all right yeah, yeah? put that yeah. up i mean yeah go yeah. watch it it's it's like 30 seconds 30 seconds it's like the shortest go video it. yeah go watch it's... it and see see my dumb ass pass out <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna end up in one of those fail compilations <laughs> and, you know? It'll be right next to like the band that butchers the uh, comfortably numb by uh, Pink right. Floyd, you know. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I I had to give you a, a little guff for that one. But yeah, it's the shortest video no, that's, out that's there good. if you yeah if you want to see it. But uh, uh, everybody you know watching this tonight, I, I want you all to head out to YouTube and and check these guys out because there's a ton of stuff out there. You've written a ton of stuff out yeah. there you know i mean that's that's amazing to me 27 videos it's like and good I, gravy and I have a whole bunch more <laughs> look at that good gravy oh so, so um what uh, uh are you you uh have you done any shows out any clubs or anything yet or are we still too early in the process uh, yet we we haven't done clubs we did a show we did a, a show called the devil's night debacle it was uh last halloween okay mm -hmm. uh well the, the day before halloween devil's night oh okay um, right mm -hmm. and we played it out at a farm uh oh. called was it the brown sparrow farm i think it was called and it okay. was uh it was a former like amish farm oh okay and and um uh, a friend of ours, well, she wasn't a friend at the time. She's a friend now, but uh, mm -hmm. had, I don't know if she'd seen our videos or what, but she was like, I'm looking for a band to play this big party, et cetera, et cetera. Right. And I was like, yes, yes, we'll do it. Yes, there you go. whatever. I don't care, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. And, um, and we went out there and that was really fun. It was cold. It was cold as hell. Oh. Um, and it was miserable, but we had a good time. Good, so. <laughs> good. That's the main thing. Yeah, I can only imagine. Yeah, Michigan in yeah October. Yeah, it was yeah. Michigan in Ooh. October. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, a little yeah. chilly there. A little chilly. Yeah. So and my and my and my girlfriend was like, "You should wear a cute little black mini skirt." And I was like, "Okay." And that was a bad choice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As all the cold air rushes up your legs and. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, wear I don't know a straight jacket. Yeah. It's Next a really time tight. I'm wearing a you know. snowsuit. <laughs> there you go. It's like Smart. A snowsuit Smart like, man. Like one of the hats with. The <laughs> that would be a great look. <laughs> I'm too. I'm too old for this. Uh, you you can make that uh, the uh, the the flaps glow in the dark like your eyes. It'll look really really right. cool. You right. know so. <laughs> Oh well, I, I hate to tell you this, but we're we're nearing the end of the show. Uh, this as as wow, that went fast. Good gravy! It really did. Uh, it really it really did. did. That's, that's kind of how our conversations go, though. They do. Like, they they do. Uh, it's like half yeah. an hour later, and we're like, "What the hell just it, happened?" Happened, right? Um, I definitely want to have you back. We got more, a lot more to talk about. I'd love to have that you back awesome. again if if you'd like to. Awesome. Uh, yes. I'd, I'd love to have you back. I want to uh, uh, talk more about your music, and uh, I yeah. want to bring up uh, uh, being a Satanist. Uh, I really wanted to get into that tonight, but not. Yeah. I, I don't want to rush it, so I think we should do. We'll do an, when we do another show. If you'd like to, we could talk about that. Yeah, um, that's cool. I think it would be very very interesting, and I, and I really want to talk to you about that. So. So I'm going to say uh, thank you for giving up thank part you. of your evening. I appreciate it. Thank I, you. you know, you know, you've got plenty more things to do than this, but I, I appreciate you, I have you doing nothing. this. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome to my world. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's nothing. too funny. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, some, I'm gonna play some VR games and oh, there you go. go to bed. Yeah, there you go. I'll be going to bed after this. Yeah, I'm old and ancient, yeah. you know, so. Oh but, God, uh, I yeah. Feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, th thanks again, Anthony. I really do appreciate you taking the, yeah, but, yeah, taking the time to be here. Easy for me to say. And uh, I definitely want to have you back and, and we'll talk again. Uh, so, thank wait. you all for watching this. And I hope you enjoy it. And we're going to keep the everything rolling with more in interviews coming up, including another one with Anthony. Yeah, we're going to be doing another one there. There. and uh 
and it's going to be great. And also, I hope you all have enjoyed this as much as I have, because uh, I really dig Anthony. He's like, like I said, uh, a brother in a past life. I do believe he is. So, yeah. uh, well, you know. I mean, that's a, a brother in this life because we're both still alive. There you go. Oh, well, barely. Yeah, yeah, barely. But we're, we're still alive. Well, and on that you note, are, right? <laughs> I'm just yeah. I'm I'm on the cusp of death. That's all. You know. So I am walking. Uh, <laughs> I've got one foot in the grave, the other on a banana peel. You know. That's why yeah. I always say so. Right. But anyway, thanks you. Thanks to everyone for watching this. Thanks for you know watching the show. I really appreciate it. As we uh, we move on to more episodes later in the future. So. From Anthony, thank you again. I appreciate it. And you. uh, from yours truly, the Bobcat, the Gargoyle, whatever name I go by. The Gargoyle. Gargoyle. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. See, you're way too cool for me. I do voiceover work too, if anyone's interested. Wink, wink, hint, hint. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> so anyway, it's the demon Gargoyle escapes from my body as we end every show this way. Here we go with the Demon Gargoyle who ends the show with... Bye now! <laughs>